Good morning, Dominators. It's me, you, back on Dominations. Ah, oh, the coffee is flowing like rivers from a mountaintop today. Mm. Well, it's good to be back online. It's been a whole day, so. Don't know what to do today, but I did notice something interesante. Look up here by your little old man, Pompous the Wise, and the three stars for your achievements. You see a little, looks like a little uh, pilot. Looks like an air, air, airman or something there. We'll click on him. We've got coming soon, Operation Husky. We're not fat, we're just husky. Dominate your opponents in World War by earning as many stars as possible. Pile up enough stars, and you will get the limited time transport hangar. So we'll be dropping troops from our little transport uh, MK1, it looks like. Uh, all we have to do in this challenge is get stars. So, oh, in World War. I did not see that when I was flying through this earlier. So um, it's probably going to be a week-long event. And it's just my guess, but um, I'm looking at the picture here. Sorry to be distracted. So we're going to have to get stars in wars, which <laughs> that's the point, but I'm not too worried about that. I'll do some, try to do some filming during wars. In the beginning days of my filming, I was not doing wars because it would crash a little bit. It, doesn't, it hasn't crashed in a long time on me, so I don't want to... Uh, have the filming cause a crash and mess up war, but I'll film this time. I don't think we'll have any trouble. Um, but back to this, I'm looking at the screen. I'm seeing the the normal troop transport that I'm familiar with that flies over the top and drops troops. But I'm also seeing this looks like an MRAP or whatever they call those guys, the uh, fortified tank truck things. And it looks like it's probably a troop transport as well. So. Or maybe that's what falls out of the... Oh, okay. That's what falls out of the planes. I'm not, I don't have that. Excuse me. I don't have that troop yet. Uh, so, <laughs> if you do and you think I'm dumb, you're right. Uh, I should, let's just agree on ignorant. But So, looks like the plane drops these little guys and uh, they come out. I know that they dropped troops before, but I didn't realize it was from a little a little uh, MRAP or whatever you call that, that truck there. So, uh, that's exciting. That's coming in one day, 22 hours. So... Sometime in the middle of Wednesday, or at the end of Wednesday, I guess Thursday morning. Yeah, Thursday morning here in the U.S. Uh, that's when will be the event will launch. Um, we've got uh, a little catching up to do. Some citizens busy. University will be the first ones to finish in a tower in two days. Still in the university, we have uh, King Sejong. He's going down on the tower damage. Putting that up to level three and tower upgrade cost will be still level two. I need to get both of those to level five so I can get my rifleman damage up. Talked about that in the past, uh, but just to recap on that, and then four days, six hours on the Beastie S35. The S stands for San Fran Tokyo. The 35. It's just uh, probably his age, I guess, because this tank is named after San. <laughs> I'm not sure how old he is. I'm 33, and I think he's like a year or two older than me, so you do the math. That's his tank, basically. <laughs> uh, that's our boy, the leader, the man, the myth, the legend, San Fran Tokyo, my best friend Brolio, San Fran Brolio, same man, homeo. He's the dude, the leader, the one that chose the path of righteousness over the other path that we were on in the flawless empire no offense Teresius. someday you'll see the light and come join the crew of San Fran Tokyo you know what to do just type it in S-A-N-F-R-A-N-T-O-K-Y-O all right I'm getting goofy this morning the coffee's working though it's my sec second cup War Academy, this is a seriously frustrating update or upgrade, but 
just because every time you you know you accidentally mess up on an attack, you can sometimes fall back on, oh, I've got that tactic. At least that's how I like to do it. I usually don't use my tactics unless I'm really trying to get all the trophy, all the medals, or in war, obviously. But uh, in regular attacks, if I start to mess up or maybe hit the wrong button or something, I've got the tactics to fall back on. Not right now, though. Uh, we're we're stuck with lightning round tactics, and if you're not familiar with the lightning round tactics, you can just go back in my uh, videos, and you can see the lightning round video. It's not the greatest, I mean, strategy-wise, but it's kind of like a, something to go off of. Anyways, enough of that. Troops are trained. Let's take a look at one. Uh, okay. Ooh, somebody tried to get my, tried to uh, look at this guy. Skull Runner, we're going to watch you. Skull Runner, I can tell you right now that you're probably better than this. But let's see what happened to Skull Runner. <clears throat> Imagine he's coming in up top. We'll see. Yep. Right on schedule. A little better turn that down. A little better turn that down, baby. We don't want the reverb. No reverb. Okay, he got the quick, quick victory, but that's all he gets. So, uh, let's watch it all unfold. Now this is my loot base, and it's, oh man, here we go, four planes, he must have crashed or something, we'll have to see what happens here, and he's going right over all my traps and stuff, which is good, but the only, uh, I haven't beaten down too many 170s on defense, but so we're doing alright. <clears throat> Like I said, this is my loot base, so it's designed to really let them take the town center and hopefully uh, have a tough time getting all the loots that are stored variously throughout the pockets and nooks and crannies. Let's go and speed this up and see where the disaster is. A minute and a half. I think he runs into trouble with these generals. Oh, yeah. And he gets into the center corridor, which is no man's land. It does get my oil, a thousand oil, not too worried about. What I'm pretty proud of on this one though is the level 172 from Dami Active Fury Alliance. Comes away with the measly two star with all those troops. I mean, S35s, Howies, big old trucks, machine guns, four jets, whatever you want to call them, fighter pilots, 27 machine guns. If I had that, those troops on my base, I would do better. I can tell you that. But. I messed up too, so who, who knows? Uh, he kind of went right into the mouth of the defense there, and that's the way it's designed. So, um, comes away with half of my goodies, and you know he should have done better than that, really. But it's all right. Power to the power to the defense. That defense is doing pretty solid. Um, take a quick look in case you want to copy it. Just pause the video and uh, make the layout. I'm bringing this intersection. If you need to pause it on this as well. Okay, <clears throat> and the other thing I wanted to show in this, I do a, I did a little bit of a uh, metal dive whenever I'm in need of quick cash. My citizens come available, you know, it's recommended to stagger your citizens, so you got someone two days, four days, six days, eight days, whatever, so you don't have as big a trouble uh, giving them all something to do when they become free, uh, but this last time, it kind of kind of came apart around the same time, within a day of each other. And so, 16 citizens, uh, I went out and just took some raiders and filled up my storages real fast. I lost about 150 medals or so, but um, it's not even an issue. I right now have no tactics, um, you know, no, we're, looks like no mercs or generals really either. And we're still pulling off some pretty solid beatdowns. I want to see this one here. Um, if it, I can't remember what level this guy is. 150, pretty much the same level as me. Um, coming in from this side, just do a quick hit on some of my strategies here. Make sure you get your tanks out front. The tanks out front attract all the fire, keeps all your other troops that don't have very high health alive. And if your tanks are not in front, you need to be conserving your rallies, uh, things like that to make sure that they stay out front. Um, tanks can just go wherever they want as long as they're taking all the fire these other guys are fine now you can see the 
mortar starting to shoot over at those guys, but it redirects to the tank closest near. This is fine. I was back on my mortars. Uh, or excuse me, back on my artillery. I rally there to get the tanks over there, get the healing on everything, and get all my troops inside that corridor. Everybody knows that once they start going all over the place, it's really hard to keep them all alive, especially when you use a strategy like I do with the tanks out front. Artis and rifles in the back, and two heal carts following up behind it. Sometimes I just do one heal, depends, usually two uh, is pretty good. I'll be excited when I get those upgraded. They will look to be a little bit more stout. Uh, two will do a lot more than they are right now. But uh, let's fast forward a little bit. You see, another, another use of the rally is to a blank area back from the defenses where they can get all together and they can heal all the troops at the same time under that splash effect and uh, then it gets those tanks to move out front again lead the way if you can do that the whole attack you're going to keep all a lot of troops alive so this base uh, not very well designed it's two halves which is um, means that there's only two walls really that you have to go through to beat the whole base Strategically, and I go through, looks like poke about four holes, but two main holes, um, and really all I needed was two holes if I would have planned it differently to uh, take out the whole base. And so troops lost, that's very minimal. I was able to keep my last two planes, I held on to them, I didn't run them all out at the beginning. Um, and you know, <clears throat> if you're having trouble with your attacks, I mean, that's those are the main things. Get some tanks out front. If your tanks are all getting killed before the end of the match, you probably don't have enough tanks. Um, you want a mixture of arties. I think I'm running about 30 rifles. Um, let's just take a look at my troop layout right now. Info. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Three planes. I dropped three. Dropped down to three tanks and added a couple arties and a wall breaker. Uh, because I was donated tanks. Let's see if they're still there. Yes, three tanks. So anytime I receive tanks, I kind of adjust my army a little bit. So I don't have as many tanks in my army. I have more arties when I get tanks. When I get arties in the class, you know, donated, I use my bigger tanks. But either way, you want about six tanks. And, you know, if you can get it, five arties, something like that. Uh, but that being said, um, we've talked about the events. We've got my, my troops still active. We can see where we're at. Uh, we watched a defense and an attack. Um, let's go see if we can get somebody real quick. I know this video is going to get long. I don't care if you stop it and watch something else. That's fine with me. But uh, we'll see if we can just throw a little bit more strategy out for, for everybody to enjoy. Strategy. Strategy. That's a pretty good, pretty good little setup there. Doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pause it in an effort to save time. I'll be right back when I find the base I want. Okay. I like the numbers on this one. Um, let's take a look and see if we can devise a strategy. No generals. He's got two bunkers active. At least it appears that way. Traps have been set. We're going to come in right at the town center and sweep down and around counterclockwise. Let's start with some rifles. Uh, just to kind of always start with the rifles. If you start with your uh, tanks, they run right past the first layer of buildings and spawn everything inside. It's no good. Get some more tanks out here. And let's start it with a one plane strat and uh, see what we can do. <clears throat> Let those top tanks take out the uh, Coliseum. Hopefully the rest will come down with them. Pull them all down here. Pow! Get out of there! And that's perfect. That's exactly how I wanted to start that one. Uh, didn't lose very much troops, if any. Very many troops, if any. Uh, these are all starting to spawn already, so we're going to go ahead and drop our raiders. They're not going to upset anything. They can help clear this out a little bit quicker. Um, one plane strat still. I'm not so sure that I'm going to clear this whole base. I feel like I probably will, but it's got a lot of little tricky ins and outs there. I know that Artie's taking fire. Get down her. Get down her. Heal that baby. Okay. So I know I have, uh, I believe I have the, enough store goods to go 
training blessing right after this. So, like to get the victory, but five star victory is not that important when there's four medals out there on the table. I do want to get the trade goods, so I need at least three. Hopefully, get the national trade good. But no, there's not that many medals out there. Sometimes that's all you get from your uh, all the stuff you invest. Come on, guys, get out of there! Pull out! Oh, you dumb tanks! I swear, so stupid. Do your best. Oh well, they're gonna sit there and take fire. Um, and they poke those S those R thirty fives poke pretty good holes uh, in the walls when they become S thirty fives. They'll be poking even bigger holes. No, oh, take out that mortar, dude. Get that thing. Get it. All right, pull up out of here. Try to get the rest of this loot on our tour of the Roman Isles. <laughs> I don't know. We're on Lord Castle's 158 base in, uh, what a cool name, 0009 Alliance. Still on that one plane strat. The reason is it only takes 30 minutes to retrain and it also leaves two planes for the next two attacks if you're not able to get all the defenses. Um, the only trouble I have with this strategy is that it, uh, I think sometimes that I could beat the base, maybe I should have just gone for it, but uh, we'll try it. It's, it's very close. Let's see if we can screw it. We'll go for it. I think we got this, and it's good to hold off towards the end, you know. Otherwise, you may just drop all those planes and be a waste. Not the time to find out that yeah, there's a defense in the corner, but uh, anyways, that worked out well. Looks like we're gonna do pretty good. <clears throat> okay, and there's the clock. So I'll just call it the Wheel of Death. Took three medals, a lot of stuff. Didn't lose that much. Didn't get the national trade good. Boo! Should give it to you every time. But uh, that's all right. This has been a deep episode. We're talking 17 minutes right now. Uh, but let's take one last look at the total cost. 15000 Oh, my God. That's glorious. That was nice and profitable. So, with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Um, if you're on a bad alliance or no alliance, just uh, go to the button here and click on your gate. Hit alliance. Search, tap it in, S A N F R A N T O K Y O. Now you know. And this will be the video of the day. Thanks for watching. Uh, join San Fran Tokyo. Peace out.